Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jyoti Mandala. Welcome you all to the video lectures on Python programming. Let us start with the introduction to Python programming. So what is a Python? Python is, we know programming languages like C and Java. Now what are all the things that is applicable to those programming languages? will be applicable to python by default so let us see now python is the fastest growing language python is the most popular language python is like whoever python developers are there they are paid high salaries now python is a high level language python is object oriented language python is easy to maintain python is easy to learn we can develop from small applications to complex applications python is a powerful programming language python is a powerful scripting language and so on we can go on adding the things to the python now why python is called as the most powerful programming language because earlier we had c programming language in which the priority is given to the procedures so the program length goes on increases to reduce this class concept has been added and then we got c++ again still object concept has been added and we got java programming language still Still, the developer's work can be simplified so that they can develop rapid applications and that can be done by using Python programming language. That's why Python is called as powerful programming language. Right? Next one is why uh, Python is called as a powerful scripting language because pattern matching like regular expressions if you consider. In regular expressions, powerful strings pattern matching by using the symbols which can be done easily by using a python pro, uh, programming language that's why it is called as a powerful scripting language right no so we can say python is a general purpose high level interpretable language with easy syntax and dynamic semantics now who developed this python so rosam has developed this python programming language uh, he developed this programming language as a hobby now earlier he used to use some other programming languages. Now while using those programming language he has faced some problems and later he, uh, he wanted to solve those problems by developing a new programming language. So he started developing the project in, of developing Python program in 1985 and he succeeded in giving the first version in 1991. So out of his hobby this programming language has come to us. Right now, why Python is so popular? Why the Python programming language is most the most popular? Why it is popular? Why everyone is uh, fond of using this Python programming language? The Python is most popular because of some reasons. Right? Let us see the reasons behind that. Now, Python is most popular because it is free. Free is nothing but it is open source. Python program is open source. Everyone can easily use this Python programming language. Next one is it is easy. Easy is nothing but Python uh, core. What are syntax we have? It is beginner friendly syntax. Easily everyone can understand the syntax and they can develop high level programs. But that is the reason uh, the Python is popular next one is high level high level is nothing but there is no need for us to worry about the complex complex tasks like memory management and all python will take care of that this is one more reason and the other one is cross platform cross platform is nothing but uh, these applications python applications can be built and developed in windows mac and linux operating systems and huge community huge community is nothing but we have a huge community who knows this python programming now if, while developing any application if you are stuck somewhere there will be some person who can uh, assist you you can help Help you right so this is why uh, this is one more reason so that mm, the python is popular next one is large ecosystem the python has so many libraries tools frameworks like as an example if i give machine learning algorithms are already available so in the python so because of this reason also python is the most popular language so this is these are some of the um, highlighted points which makes python popular right companies that uses the python 
the first one is google google uses google search engine software is completely developed google search engine uh, is used to give better results they have developed that search engine by using this python next one is dropbox dropbox is a cloud application which is used to store the data the client and server applications developed for this dropbox is developed by using this python right next one is netflix netflix uses machine learning and python in combination that uses the user interest and they will be using some clustering algorithms to make the show uh, continue for long term right next one is mozilla firefox mozilla firefox also uses this python programming for their search and then Instagram is completely developed by using this Python programming and National Security Agency also uses this Python for their encryption algorithms. Encryption decryption algorithms are uh, developed by using this Python program. Right. So these are some of the companies that uses Python programming. Now let us see the installation of the Python software. Now if you want to proceed further with the Python programs, we need to first install software uh, into our system. To do that task, what we need to do is, first you need to visit a website called www.python.org. Now once you open this one, uh, loads, and under that downloads, according to your operating system, you need to choose. Let us consider you have chosen the Windows. Now when you click on the Windows page, where it will show all the where it will show the latest version. Now whichever you want, you can choose that one. Now whatever you want, you need to click on that. Let us consider you have selected this one. Whenever you select that one, you will be redirected to this page, where according to your bit size you need to select the ex you need to download the executable file let us consider this is windows 64 bit or windows 32 bit you need to uh, download that one once the download process is done once it is successfully downloaded then you need to click on the run button whenever you click on the run button this page will be displayed now here this will you need to select this one by default it will is not selected you need to select this one and you need to click on the customize installation and then you need to proceed next 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 simple the installation process is done right now once the installation process is done you need to check whether it is successfully installed or not into your system to do that task you need to go to the command prompt and in the command prompt you need to type python right this is the command now once you click python it will show the version that is installed into your system i have installed python 3.7.7 so whatever version you have installed that version will be shown here now you are getting three greater than symbols this is called as python prompt now once you are getting this one it is nothing but your system is successfully installed into your your system is successfully installed with python Right now, your system is ready to do with the Python program to work with the Python program. Right now, what is this prompt? Is now this prompt is called as Python prompt, which is called as an interactive version to do our uh, Python programming. Now, whenever you want to work with Python, it is not required for us to install any editors and all. Just from here, you can start writing your programs. I'll take a simple example. I am writing a simple print statement. And I am writing a uh, uh, first program. Right? Simply I am writing print and I am within the double quotes I am writing first program and click enter. Now the output will be displayed here. Now, okay. Now if I want to execute the same program once again, again you need to type that line and again you need to execute. That means whatever you are typing there that will not be saved anyway and you can immediately execute that one. Suppose your program is of 10 lines. What you need to do for the first time you need to type the program and you need to run that one. Again you want to check the output, again you need to type the program. Okay, if your code is of 100 lines, if your code is of 1000 lines, then using this Python prompt is very difficult for the developer to work with that. To solve that problem, we have an another way of writing our programs where we need to open a notepad and in the notepad we can save our program. We can save our program. The same example I am opening one notepad. In the notepad, I have written the same statement print first program and you can save this program anywhere right 
and whenever you are saving this program you need to give file name and the file extension should be py the file extension should, should be you need to save your program as let us consider file name is 1 and you need to save with py got it all of you file extension should be py now you need to save this one and you need to move to the command prompt once again now we are in the python prompt now whenever you want to execute your notepad programs then you need to move you need to come out of this python prompt to do that you need to simply click ctrl z and click enter if you do like that you will be moved out of your python prompt here you need to move to a path where your file has been saved my files are saved in d drive okay now here my program is available Sorry, it is not personal. Theory. So, my programs are available in D drive Python. Now, here if you want to execute your program, you need to use a command called Python space. You need to give file name. What is our file name? 1.py. Now, if you type like this, it will be executed and your output will be displayed. So, this is the second way how your program will be executed. Right now, if you n number of times simply give python file name dot py, you can execute your program and you can get your output n number of times, which is not possible with a Python prompt. Got it, all of you? So this is how the installation process is done and how a simple program can be executed. Right, all of you? Okay. So with this, we'll come to the conclusion of our first lecture that is about introduction to our Python programming. We'll all meet in the next lecture. Thank you.